Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing your um this is a Christmas special. Okay. So it's gonna be 12 cards. Normally I do the weekend reading. It still applies, yes. Um, but this is timeless now, so it's smart situation. I'm gonna put the title. You can watch any of the zodiac because we are part of all the zodiacs. Which title you prefer, then it, it's for you. Okay? But this is special you know, I have to put Aries so that everybody would know. Alright, <laughs> so they know what to watch. Okay, so we're gonna go now and get six cards and then six cards in the extended read. Okay, so let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now these are reversals, right? I mean, I've used this like way, way back before it was pre released. So I will flip it for the next six. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I'm going to start first. Okay. We have here Three of Wands. You have here Five of Pentacles. You have here Four of Pentacles. Three of Cups. You have here the Empress. And the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles, guys. Okay, so that's here, and, and then the extended read, we have Six of Cups, amazing. Ace of Pentacles, very good. Six of Pentacles, very positive, okay. Five of Swords, okay, and Four of Wands, okay, and Four of Cups, okay. So now, we're gonna start in the first six here in the YouTube, and then the rest will be discussed in our extended read. So, Aries, from what I'm sensing here, okay, one, you're definitely waiting already for this person to come to your life or you're waiting for things to grow and develop. This is when you have high expectations. I mean, Aries are not perfectionists like Virgo, but Aries are known, I'm not zoning out your, um, you know, stereotyping your zodiac, but you are known just, you know, for things, they just have to do the right thing. How hard is it? You know, and this is the expectation that you have with this person. It's like, why can't we just have things the right way? And it's coming to a point of frustration because you have here five of pentacles, right? If you can't do it, don't do it right, you know? I mean, don't even bother. And that's why the other person can be left out in the cold, you know? Because for you, it's so simple to execute what you want. You're just gonna grab it and I'm just gonna do it. That's plain and simple. But this person, they're, they're number five. So this can be a Scorpio and Iris also that you're dealing with. So they're confused because for them, it's like, well, I'm trying to shoot every corner already and I'm trying to do everything that you want, but how am I, why is it not working? So this person is like in a pinball machine, machine, right, Aries? And you're the one flipping that pinball, go here, go there, do what they tell you to do. You're not being controlling, yes, can be, but you just want it to be done in a certain way, okay? So maybe obsessive compulsive, I would agree, yes. Now. As it progresses over here, you have Four of Pentacles. This person has turned themselves around. It's like, I'm not going to deal with you. You're going to be difficult. Okay? You're going to be difficult. That's why this Four of Pentacles is like, I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And combining with this both energy, this Nine of Pentacles. So either they're so confident, it's like, I'm not going to do it. You do it. I'm not going to go into the situation. You do it. So stubborn. Okay? And Earth energy, if it's stubborn, must be a Taurus. I'm kidding. Okay. Anyhow, so this energy, them being um, non-compliant to what you're asking to do with what your expectation. Okay. Because here's the thing. Either one, of course, I have to say, because the Three of Cups energy here, there's a three people involved. Okay. It can be same sex, of course, but there can be a third party energy. Then this is the this is the reason why for you that you got upset. You just have to be a good person. How hard is it? Why do you have to get involved with someone? And then for them, it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm facing my back. I don't want to deal with this, okay? If it's not a third, par third party energy, this person is like, why do you have to make things difficult? This is what they're telling you also, Aries. When we can just be happy. Water sign. When we can just be flowing. This is what they're saying, Aries. Now, here you have Empress. Oh, this is a Taurus card, okay? <laughs> Empress not looking around. Really, like... You have love, they have love, but the stubbornness of the connection is just so strong. It's like even the Empress doesn't want to look at it. Even Venus has turned around for this. And it's like, you guys battle it out. 
because you guys know that you have love for each other. I already did my magic over here as a planet, and yet you guys don't fix it. Don't wait for Saturn to come, because I'm already here. I'm about pleasure, love, relationship, and this was supposed to be easy, but it's not gonna be easy. Now I'm just I'm just gonna give you a snippet, okay? Because Venus is on is on top is down uh, down in the direct. The Venus card is the fourth ones. That's why I'm, that's why I'm already telling you already. But of course, I'm gonna continue next time read. <laughs> okay. Now, as it moves further, what's interesting is because from the Nine of Pentacles here, there's Ten of Pentacles. This is the generation, right? Relationship, manifestation of abundance. So as it progresses now, this whole stubborn energy. There's no connection here. Trust me, guys. I mean, no connection in the sense like you guys are really cat and mouse. Cat and mouse. It's like there is no, it, it's like, you know, I'm just saying like, you know, in reference, you know how you fight with your siblings and it's, it, it doesn't end for the first 10 years. That's how it is right now here. It hasn't ended this whole fighting, but by the end of the day, you have the 10 of pentacles and then you still with a person because it's so strong and it's so stable. You're still with the 10 of pentacles. You're still with them. No matter what you do, 10 of pentacles, solid, grounded, may not be the happiest card because 10 of cups is the happiest. 10 of pentacles is the most stable. So by the end of the day, you still find yourself, yeah, they're stubborn, I'm stubborn. Well, we're both stubborn, so what do I do? Okay, so that's where the Ten of Pentacles leads. Now, I'm going to continue this reading, Aries, and this is going to be your special for this holiday. This is the 12 cards for Christmas. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday, and I'll see you guys again.